then I'll, then I'll share it with you, okay? I'm going to share it with you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So I'll go ahead and um, introduce myself. My name is Chef Martin Gilligan. I'm going to actually rename myself right here. Uh, Jack, um, Can all of you mute your uh, microphones? You mute yours. I'll, I'll mute mine. Want me to mute, want me to mute mine too? Yes, okay. please. Thank you. Oh, okay. So I, I renamed myself, you see, actually see my name there. Um, so it has like these weird letters after my name. CEC means Certified Executive Chef and CEPC means Certified Executive Pastry Chef. So um, so I've been doing this a long time. I grew up in the restaurant business. My dad owned a restaurant in New York. So I talk funny, not as funny as Chef Passine, but I, I talk funny. Uh, and I say things like chocolate and sauce and coffee and water. Anyway, um, I got my coffee right here. So anyway, so um, we, um, we have our um, Los Angeles Trade Tech Culinary Arts Pathway, which has three different programs. We have the uh, Culinary Arts Program, we have the Professional Baking Program, and we also have the, um, so the Culinary Arts Program, Professional Baking Program, the Restaurant Management Program. Um, anyway, so uh, let's talk a little bit more about that. But before we do that, what I'd like to do is I'd like to introduce uh, my colleague, uh, Chef Cristiano Passin. Hello, everybody. So my name is Cristiano Pazin. <clears throat> and as you can hear from my funny accent, I'm not completely American. So I was born and lived in Italy until like uh, six, year, six years ago, something like that. And <clears throat> so, and of course, you know, the reason why I, you know, I'm doing this job is just because so when I was over there, I, I took like, um, I, so it's a little bit different in Italy how the school system works. But um, so actually culinary arts is a school that you do during high school. There are specific high schools that they teach you, you know, different as aspects of culinary arts. Of course, you can choose if you want to become like a waiter or a bar barman uh, or, you know, a chef, a pastry chef, or for example, for example, a receptionist in hotels. So of course I chose uh, to cook just because that was you know my favorite things. But at the same time also I worked uh, as a bartender and also waiter just you know to <clears throat> to have a better view of how the restaurant works and you know and things like that. So I work a lot as a chef, private chef, also you know for um, in uh, let's say pretty rich you know family households, but. Other than that, also, you know, while I was working, um, I was also studying food science and then I have also a bachelor in that. So, and that's it. Then, of course, when I moved here in California, other than, you know, enjoying the weather so much, et cetera, I said, you know, it's better if I found like, a, since I like cooking and I like teaching because that was also the job that I was doing in Italy and I was teaching, in, you know, in high schools. So then I found this opportunity at Trade Tech and then they, they you know, they hired me. And since then uh, I'm working there. I'm super happy. You know, that this is a very great school. I can tell you since I'm from a different country and, and you know better than me that, you know, Italian cuisine is quite famous. So maybe you think that, you know, the Italian schools, culinary arts schools are better than the American one. But actually, you learn more, you know, in two years of school here at the LATTC compared instead of what I've learned in five years, you know, in one of one of the best actually high schools that we have, you know, in our country. Because the school that I attended was one of the first that opened. Like, you know, the same thing is that LATTC is the same thing; is the first one that opened here in California, and and that's it. So. Um, Pretty sure that you will have a lot of questions later on, and then I, I will be happy to answer them. All right. So we got a, a, quite a few people now. Um, looks like we're up to uh, nine. So we have six students, and uh, Adrian, who's our um, administrator, administrator also. Anyway, so here's how it's going to unfold. What we're going to do is I'm going to share my screen. We're going to talk a little bit about our culinary programs, um, our three programs I already mentioned. Um, we're also going to talk about our new culinary arts pathway facility. So it's a $66 million building. And in addition to that, we actually spent about $3 million or a little bit less than $3 million on just cooking equipment, like ovens and stoves and tongs and whips and spatulas and stuff. So anyway, so we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that, uh, where we're located. We're located right here in downtown LA. 
uh, and everything like that. And then uh, we'll answer any questions you may have. We'll, so we'll only be together for about a half an hour. Um, and we're going to go ahead and record this so Adrian can put it up on the website and stuff. So that'll help us to promote. But also, if you have friends that are, that you know of that are uh, wanting to be, become a chef, go ahead and text them on your cell phone right now and let them know that we have this Zoom call right now and, uh, and tell them to join us. So we're going to be, again, be about a half an hour. And so, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. And can everybody see that? Can everybody see my screen? It looks like. Yes, I see. All right, good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go to uh, our website, which is laptc.edu. You see that? So that's our main school's website. So just to talk a little bit about it. So we are a community college. So what is a community college? Well, it's a phenomenal thing for new students, uh, especially new students coming right out of high school because a community college, especially if you are a California state resident, you can actually get go to college for only $58 a unit. So some students who want to become chefs, they maybe will look into private schools. I'm going to tell you, you can look into a private school, but you're not going to find a better one than LA Trade Tech. Can um, I just interject one thing? It's actually free with the California Promise right now. Yeah, so that, that was my next point right now. So yeah. if, I go, if you go to services right now and you go to LA College Promise, which is located right here, and you click on that, you can actually look at the link. Um, they have actually a little short video on how you apply to the LA College Promise. They're actually giving away uh, free Chromebooks and everything. So um, if you are a senior, you should very, very quickly uh, email uh, lacp at latc.edu. Email that and tell them, you're, tell them who you are. Tell them that you go currently are enrolled in, uh, in a high school program here in Los Angeles and ask about the co LA College Promise and they'll give you all that information, right? So that's, that's really cool. But and then if you go to current students, and this is our website, but it's you know, you normally need this when you're a current student, but you go to culinary arts. So you can, you can see that our, um, that our school is geared toward what we call CTE, which is career and technical education. So we have the, we have health and related sciences. We have design and media arts, cosmetology. And I always tease my students. I say, you know what, if you can't take it in culinary arts, go into cosmetology. <laughs> so I was supposed to be funny, but anyway. So, all right. So culinary, here's our culinary arts website. So this is our culinary arts website. We actually have a banner here, which is showing you uh, what classes we are currently teaching in spring of 2021. So a lot of our classes are, are literally online right now. So because of the pandemic, but we're actually hoping to get back together again soon, right? So you can still see that, uh, Chef Basin, can you see the banner right there? Okay, so it actually talks, if you look at our program and, and you look and you go down to the bottom of our webpage, you can see that our, we have three different programs in, for the culinary arts pathway. We have the culinary arts program and that's for students who uh, want to learn how to cook, um, if they want to learn uh, Italian cuisine or, you know what I mean, if they want to learn how to hold a knife, uh, all the basic knife cuts, the five mother sauces, uh, learn all, learn all about um, international cuisine, learn about garmage, uh, that Cristiano teaches uh, garmage, which is actually teaches you how to uh, make pâtés and terrines and sausages from scratch and everything. And then we have our professional baking program. We actually learn how to um, make breads and yeast raised doughs and pastries and even donuts and, uh, and even eclairs, even little chocolate candies and sugar candies and all of that. And then the restaurant management program is for those people who want to become uh, restaurant managers and run your, maybe run your own catering business or you run your own restaurant eventually, you know. So let's talk a look. Let's just take a look at the culinary arts program. So first of all, what I want to talk about is our culinary. I'm going to look at the PDF right here. So if you look at the program overview, it actually is, we are accredited with a company, with an organization called the American Culinary Federation. So you saw the, the, the letters after my name. So those are certifications I received through who? Through the American Culinary Federation or the ACF, right? Actually, all the chef's uniforms have the ACF logo on, the, on there as well, right? So you'll have the ACF logo. You'll also have the LATTC logo on our jackets as well, right? So anyway, so the, the accreditation with the American Culinary Federation is recognized throughout the entire world. 
uh, people will know that you graduated from an accredited culinary school. So we are only one of two schools in Southern California that are accredited with the American Culinary Federation, us. And we also have another school in Orange County called OCC or Orange Coast College. Oh. Has anybody ever heard of Orange Coast College? Yes. So they're the other one. So anyway, so our semester program is broke up, broken up into four semesters. So you have semester one, semester two, semester three, and semester four. Now, our college has the longer semesters, which are in our fiscal year is the spring semester, which was starting now in February 8th, and it's going to go through June 6th, right? So that's our spring semester, and it's 16 weeks long. So you're, you're, you could actually finish up all of these classes right here, your front of the house dining services, your culinary arts orientation, your sanitation and safety, your culinary arts nutrition. You can have those, those courses out of the way in, in your first semester. And then your second semester, which you can take in fall, which starts in September or the end of August and goes through about Christmas. You can take your garmage baking class. You can take your charcuterie class. And then you can take, if, that, if you just stay with the larger semesters, that are 16 weeks long, it'll take you about two years to finish the program. However, we do offer these classes consolidated or concentrated in, in our summer and winter programs. So you might be able to take some of these and be finished with our program in about 18 months. Now, if you look over here, up here, can everybody see this? How, you, how we have the, um, so we have our two different, uh, we, we have two different awards for culinary arts. First of all, you have the AA degree, who can tell me what AA degree stands for? Anybody? You got to come off mute because I can't hear you. Or you can write it in the chat if you want. Anybody? All right. Well, AA degree stands for Associate in Arts or Associate in Academic Studies, right? So this is, I wear actually Associate in Arts, actually, because we are the culinary arts, right? So that actually is, is uh, re the required units are for the course is 48. So that's these courses right here. And then you'll have to take your general education, which is 21 additional units. Now, I always encourage my students to get the associate in arts degree. And here's why. Because when you become a chef, you're gonna wanna know all the things that you learn in your general education classes as well. So it's really important to know mathematics. Why is it important as a chef to know mathematics? Well, when you get out of school, and you're, you're, you're going to be, um, say, you're going to be working in a, in a hotel kitchen. And the chef says to you, Emily Hernandez, I need you to make pasta salad for 1,200 people, right? So, whoa, how do you, make, how do you know, how are you going to calculate how much pasta salad you're going to need to make? Well, you figure out, well, it's 1,200 people. So each, each person is going to, need to, going to need to eat about three ounces. Well, how do I figure that? That's one spoonful. I put it on the scale. So that's three ounces. So now I take 1,200 and I put it in my calculator, 1,200, that's the number of people. And then I multiply that by three, which is the number of ounces that they're each going to eat, right? And that gives me a big number of how many ounces of pasta salad I'm going to need, right, for the whole 1,200 people. Then I'm going to divide that number by 16, which is what? The number of ounces in a pound, right? And then that'll give you the amount of pasta salad you need to make. So you need to know some basic math skills, right? And then I always say that there is language arts skills or English skills that you need to know as well. And that's part of your general education requirements as well, because what sounds better, if you're going to re write your menu and your person is going to come into your restaurant and he's going to say, wow, it just says scallops. Well, what does that mean, right? So if you had some language arts skills as, an, as a chef, you can actually say, well, you could actually say seared diver scallops nestled atop a bed of wilted spinach leaves, napped with the orange butter sauce, something like that, right? So you need some language art skills, right? You also need to know how to speak other languages, right? The general education requirements actually um, features uh, either you could take French or you could take Spanish. It's muy importante si habla español en la cocina. In, in California, no? And, all right, so uh, maybe you know, maybe you can be like uh, Chef Cristiano and speak Italian. What do you think, Chef? Right? So, anyway, do you have anything to add about our programs, Chef? Cristiano? No, actually, you know, you, you said yeah. almost everything except that maybe later on, if they have more questions, like more deep questions regarding culinary arts, you know, like for example, the differences of classes <clears throat> then of course you know um 
because they we should you know to, uh, tell them that um, they have to start of course with 111 and 112 that oh, yeah. is our mandatory two first oh, okay. two classes yeah. that you have to take the prerequisite right yes uh, I have it's a question a yes actually um, can you do your uh, general education and the, the can you do them at the same time can they be done with everything in two years then yeah absolutely yes with the general okay okay yeah you take instead of just 12 units 12 units is almost a part-time student actually uh you could actually take as many as 18 to 21 units uh per semester and be a full-time student if you're working uh it might take you a little bit longer you know but, but that's a good question any other questions if you're good, um for the program restaurant manager is um what's it called is it different classes or is it the let, same? let me show you let me go back let me go back okay i'll go i'll go to the restaurant management program so you see what these classes are it's uh front of the house on uh culinary arts orientation sanitation safety and then you go on menu planning purchasing restaurant supervision all right let me go to our restaurant management program so if we go to culinary arts and you go down to oops i gotta go back current students culinary arts can you still see the, the my screen? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Then you go to restaurant management down here. So I click on it, right? I go more information. Then I go the PDF. And you can actually print those right from the website. So this one, it actually, it's almost the same classes, but you have to take a few different classes. Like, all right, so you have to take the culinary arts orientation, sanitation, safety, front of the house, dining, and culinary nutrition. It's the same in all three programs, basically, right? Um, the second semester where you're going to be taking bookkeeping and accounting and then restaurant management is something that you'll take in second semester. And then you'll go on and you'll take the rest of the, um, of the, of the courses that you take as a culinary arts, uh, major. So a lot of our students actually take the culinary arts program. And then what they'll do is they'll just add bookkeeping and accounting and restaurant management, and then they'll get two certificates or they'll get an AA degree plus a certificate in restaurant management, right? So it really works out great because if you can graduate, you can have two certificates. That's two things you can write on your resume when you go out, to, out, out into the industry to get a job. And you can also tell them that you're accredited with the American Culinary Federation. You'll also have your serve safe certification. Um, you'll also, right? So all of these things, um, many of our programs, like for example, many of our classes, like for example, the culinary nutrition, the menu planning and purchasing, the restaurant supervision and training, all of them are, are uh, they have, offer certificates with the National Restaurant Association, right? So now you have your portfolio, you have all of this stuff in your, right? And what does the chef say to you? When can you start, right? That's what they say. So it's really, it's really a cool school to go to for that reason. So, all right. So the next thing I wanted to show you, uh, if there's no other questions, is there any, any more? Great questions, by the way. The next thing I wanted to show you was, I wanted to show you how we're teaching right now. So right now, what we're doing is we're, we're, we're teaching through uh, what we call Canvas, right? So let me go there. I'm going to open up my Canvas shell. You go to Canvas. So is anybody, uh, you, anybody uh, familiar with, with Canvas? So this is actually uh, our Canvas uh, shell. And this is a basic one, right? So this is actually culinary arts nutrition or culinary arts orientation. So this is what you'd be taking for semester. And this is being taught by Stacy DeMasso, who is our uh, one of our uh, first semester culinary arts instructors. And as you'll do it, what you'll do is you'll go here and you can actually go to home, the home and actually you'll, what you'll, do, you'll have these modules, right? So what you'll do is you'll click on it and you'll read the stuff. And after you read it, you go to the next, you go to next. And you'll work through the course and, right? So it talks a little bit about who Chef Damaso is, how do you contact him, stuff like that. And then you go next. And then you'll go, uh, it, it talks a little bit about how you can get support on campus. You can go next. And then it talks a little bit more about uh, how, the, how, what, how the course is gonna be broken out. So you have your syllabus, You'll have your course description. You'll have your, your uh, meeting schedule. You'll have your required textbooks, um, disabled student programs, your quizzes, all that stuff will be listed out, right? And the instructor will go over that with you on your first day of class as well. And what's cool about it is he'll also tell you that the portion of the class which has you doing cooking 
we'll actually have you doing cooking at home right now. But when we're together, you'll actually be cooking in the lab. So if you look at laboratory, you can actually see that you'll see the recipes for everything. Uh, what you'll be doing is you'll be submitting uh, pictures of your of your course with the with your first name and your last name and all your ingredients and everything, and then you'll take a picture of the fi the final product as well. And that's how we grade you. It's hard it's hard now because of the pandemic, but that's what we're doing. Also, what we do is we actually give you the ingredients to do the to do the work at home right now. So, hopefully, by the time you guys graduate, we'll be finished with this darn pandemic, right? So, anyway, so we're doing ingredient distribution right now, though. So, anyway, so that's Canvas. And if you look, um, what I do with my class is I actually do live demonstrations. So, and then what I do is I upload them onto YouTube. So, I'm going to go to my YouTube channel. We have a YouTube channel. I didn't have a YouTube channel before the pandemic hit, but now I've been doing so many live demos that I just ended up putting them. I needed a place to put them all, so um, so we just did them. Off. So if you you guys can go on your on your YouTube and go to Chef Martin Gilligan. Hey Chef Basin, do you have a YouTube channel now? <laughs> Not yet. I still have all the videos on Zoom. Oh, okay. I have to transfer them actually. Yeah, so if you look at all the videos I've done, actually I did one at my home with Chef Passine helped me one day and we did a, what was it? It was a live ice sculpture competition or live, live ice sculpture demonstration. So let's go there real quick. So can everybody see the live ice sculpture demonstration? I'll turn it up a little bit. So I had a block of ice, this is my backyard in, uh, in the San Fernando Valley. The ice, um, the figure into the ice. So right? you etch the figure into the ice like that. Can I make it a little bigger uh, for you guys? Go there. Anyway, so can I you see it? it in there. And uh, again, what I'm going to do Chef is Pasi, can you see that? That's not yes, okay. yes, yes. So, um, I have so I'm not going to watch the whole thing because it's like 30 minutes. But what I'll do is I will go fast forward. Um, and, and you can see how I, I use a, I'll use the chainsaw to carve the ice. And then we use uh, like, kind of like disc sanders to, uh, to smooth it out. I'll move a little, little, a little more along and then I go to, so then I'm making it more, more realistic with the chainsaw. And then I do the detail work with, uh, with a die grinder. And then we got, Chef Basin helped me uh, help me carry it, and we put it, and then we threw it in my pool afterwards to cool the pool down. So, can anybody tell? Can anybody tell me what that is? It's a, it's a sparrow. No, it's not. It's supposed to be a it's supposed to be a swan. Does it look like a swan, guys? No. All right. That's beautiful. Do you teach that in class? No. So yes, you'll learn how to do ice carving in today. Yeah, you'll you'll. Uh, when we had the old building, this current building, we didn't have a capacity to to make the blocks of ice. But now we do. We have capacity to make the blocks of ice, and we have a, a freezer now. So we're gonna have a we're gonna have like Saturday. Uh, we're gonna have a club on campus. It's called the Ice Club. And, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna teach carving ice um, in the Ice Club. So wait, what am I doing? Who is this guy? I have no idea who this guy is. Swamp people. <laughs> Want to know where to invest a thousand dollars right now? Hi, Rex Moore with The Motley Fool. And if you know us, you know on, how famous we are for finding these massive technological trends and then finding stocks that can benefit in an explosive way. Stocks like Amazon and the e-commerce revolution. Our recommendation oh up goodness. over... All right. Escape. There we go. So anyway, so if I go back to my YouTube channel... You can see how all, like, for, um, I have the, this is our brand new culinary arts facility right here. So, we, we, we don't see it. Oh, not anymore. Okay. Oh. So just get out from, you know, the uh, full screen. You right. can press escape when there you are not. Ah, can you see it now? Yes. Okay, I'm going to go to, uh, can you see it now? Yes. Okay. So if I go back to my YouTube channel, I want to go and show you that we have the brand new culinary arts facility, right? So this was actually, uh, it says opens winter 2021. Uh, 
it never it didn't open in winter 2021 we we tried but we couldn't get there so uh we're gonna open in and hopefully in summer 2021 so if you could see this is our, our brand new building and it's a virtual fly through so it's uh computer generated but then after that i'll show you the actual building so this is our brand new building it's 66 million dollar building and uh it was done it was built uh from the ground up it took like four years to build the school and so if you guys sign up, you'll be one of the first people in that, in that building. You'll be one of the first students in that building. This is our, um, in, it actually flies through inside the building. So there's like a student lounge off there, off to the right. And then this is all the student dining. It's like the cafeteria, you know? And then we have on this side over here, we have the, uh, we have the student run dining room. And then this is the main kitchen with all the brand new culinary arts equipment. Yep. So pretty cool, right? Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and stop share or not stop share, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now to, I'm gonna go to our Facebook page. You guys can friend us on Facebook or, or like us or whatever. We're on Instagram as well. What's your Instagram handle? Oh, I'll show you how to get there. Okay. But let me just go there. Uh, so I, got him. I got him on YouTube. I got him on YouTube too. You have him on YouTube? Oh, okay, good. So this is our, our um, this is our walkthrough of the, this is our brand new, this is the building now. This is the actual building. And this was about a month ago. So we're actually done now. We're, we're going to be moving in next week. But this is, uh, this is me uh, right there and a, and a couple of students. And we were walking through the building that day. So you can see the general classrooms, how beautiful everything is. That's the walk-in freezer where you're going to be storing the ice sculptures. This, I think this is your kitchen, Fuzzy. That's your kitchen. So you can tell us about it. What's your Fuzzy? Well, as you can see, it's, everything is new. And the good thing is that we can do everything. Well, we will have just a, a special kitchen just for us. So, and that is the nice part of, you know, uh, taking Garmanger or one or two. Of course, the other person that is sharing the kitchen, that I'm sharing the kitchen with is the Chef Gilligan because he's teaching Garmanger one. Uh, so, of, uh, but, you know, there's plenty of room. Look, <clears throat> and... And the nice thing is that we can, you know, smoke our product inside. We have a smoker and a special hoods just for, you know, the smoker. And and actually, we are also building um, with some people in the campus um, a refrigerator that in order to age, you know, cheese or salami, things like that. So, you know, I'm pretty excited because finally with this new building, we can do many, many more things compared, you know, with the spaces that we had before. And of course, also, as you can see, it's, you know, it's pretty big. I don't know if you ever seen, you know, um, our uh, facility before, but so right now we are completely in the center of the campus and it's a state of the heart building, as you can see. Uh, this is just the dishwasher. Um, yeah, so, you know, you guys, you have to, when we will be open, of course, okay, you have to come in. At least take one class to see, you know, if you like it or not. And then, you know, if you take the orientation, that is, you know, enough in order to understand how to work better in the kitchen, because sooner or later you will have to start cooking, you know, maybe. So, yeah, so this is the, one of the, the baking section. So this is the servery where we actually, so what's cool about our school is that we actually work, um, we're open to the public from day one almost. Uh, the culinary arts pathway um, co opens, we're open to the public from almost from day one. So anyway, I'm, I'm, this is Oxnard program, but anyway, okay. Let me go, let me stop share. Okay, so um, so that's, <clears throat> our, that's our school at LA Trade Tech. So um, does anybody have any questions? I have a, so, okay. Go ahead, go ahead. I'll do after. So right after high school, um, you can go into that school and um, you said, is it like a community college that you don't have to pay and then you're, you'll be done in two years or? Yep, yes. Oh, okay. Answer to the first question is yes. 
answer to the second question is yes. Answer to the third question is yes. <laughs> but I think, am I wrong? But uh, I think like high school students, if they are in the last their last year, they can attend some um, colleges yeah. classes, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. You, ah, if you're, if so, you're currently a senior, you can take classes now. I have, I have seniors in my class currently enrolled. And actually, you can just be 13. We've had, we have students right now, we had a ninth grader take a class at West LA College this semester. So it is possible. I'm not sure if you can work it into your schedule. Um, are your classes right now um, asynchronous then? Well, are they synchronous? So we, we're, everybody's DE certified. So like, for example, those first semester classes, the uh, chef, chef Basin is teaching culinary arts nutrition and that is asynchronous. And also the sanitation and safety is asynchronous. Um, Wait, can the students know what that word means? <laughs> you can explain it with that. Yeah, explain it. Yeah, because I just learned that word like not that long ago. If it wasn't yeah. for the pandemic, I still wouldn't know what that word meant. But asynchronous <laughs> means uh, we can teach it fully online and without any uh, uh, without any in personal interaction with the student. It's just uh, you log in. You can log in at three o'clock in the morning and do your homework and do your coursework and stuff. Um, we are synchronous as far as the labs go, for sure. All yeah. of them are still synchronous. And the reason why is because we want to inter interact with the student. However, we are not like live the entire time. Like for example, uh, my lab uh, that I'm teaching on uh, starting next week is actually Monday through Thursday. And it's from 6.30 a.m. in the morning until 10 a.m. in the morning. So 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, it's four hours. So we're not on Zoom for four hours. What I do is I go on in the morning. I introduce the the, 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 the lecture or the, the demonstration for the day, what we're gonna work on that day. And then they go and they work on their own and then they upload pictures. And I'm, I'm available to them if, uh, if they need me. Uh, they can text me or they can log back into the Zoom or whatever they need to do, but they don't need to be there the entire time. So, yeah. Are there classes that are synchronous or lab time that's after, like maybe after two o'clock in the afternoon or evenings or weekends right now? Not currently, no. And, the, and the reason, yeah, the re, I mean, well, we have Friday and Saturday, we have a 111 Saturday class and we have a no, We have a 111 uh, in the second part of the semester from April. That is in the evening, actually starting at two o'clock, if I remember well. Uh, yeah, I actually had to cancel that one because we only. Ah, you canceled it? Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I didn't know about that. Yeah, no, normally we do have, uh, but because of the pandemic, we're, we have a little bit lower lower enrollment than normal. Um, so we ended up uh, canceling some of our classes. We still have no. a very, we still have a very robust, that's our all of our classes. So that's from Tabalo. I don't know if you know Tabalo. Yeah. yeah. So that's our Tabalo. So it's like we have, uh, how many classes do we have? Well, One, I don't know. Two, three, four, five. We have about. But you three, have Zooms in the morning. March and Gria. What's that? What's you have it? zooms. In the, you have zooms in the morning too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. What morning. time? So we start at like six thirty in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Six, not, not all the classes. Not all the oh, classes. Yeah. I need that class. But listen, six. if you can be a chef, you know you got to be able to get up and make donuts. You know what I mean? You got to yeah. get up early. and breakfast. Yeah. You got to be able. To, yeah. I mean, you know. That's the thing, you know, I remember one of my instructors when I went to school and I went to school way long time ago, you know, it was uh, in the 80s. Yeah, right? anyway, yeah. You weren't even born yet, for sure. Um, but anyway, he said, <laughs> he, he said, if you're going to be a chef, you must base your life on five things, he said. Creativity, innovation, discipline, determination, and direction. He was from Germany, right? But, you know, the creativity, innovation, that's the fun part. Everybody, everybody wants that, right? But the discipline, <laughs> and the and the direction, that's the stuff that you got to really have it. That's what you got to have it inside you. You got to be able to reach in there and grab it. You know, it's it's not all glory. It's it's hard work. But you know what I mean? Yeah. For me, if I didn't do this for a living, I would not be happy uh, for personally. You know? wow. so is anybody else like me? Uh, raise your hand if you're like me. Yeah, you have to do it. It's like if I did anything else, if I did anything else, I would not be happy. I this I, it's in my DNA, you know what I mean? So if it's in your DNA, you gotta do it. You know what I mean? It's just it has to be. <laughs> Can I ask you a question about like job? Like um, do you keep track of your graduates? Is there an internship uh, component to your program? And yeah. are students getting hired in at because I know it's a very competitive field to be um, because some students may think they want to be a chef, but you know, they're not hired as a chef. They're maybe like a prep cook or something. Right. Um, but all, what are the all, jobs all, and all, with the pay all, and all that? 
all of that stuff is tracked. Um, it's all tracked by our, um, we have um, on, on campus, you know, the, the uh, workforce development um, and they track all that data. Um, they actually communicate with our, with our graduates and find out where they're at. And when they, when they relocate, they find out, they actually follow them on, on, in, on social media. Now they're, they have really new cutting edge uh, um, al algorithms to follow these students after they graduate. They actually reach out to them uh, in order to be able to keep track that data. And the reason why we track that data is because we get, we get more funding from, from the ACC, JC in Sacramento is if we, if we are tracking that fact that we're putting these people to work, you know? Um, but the, the, like I said, you know, when our, our program is different than others, um, because of the fact that we are teaching us, we're getting them ready for the industry. And do we have a, uh, a, a uh, externship or internship type program? Right now, we have what's called the co-op class. Now, that co-op class is, uh, it's actually a, a, an addition to our, it's not mandatory to graduate, uh, but about 95% of our students are, are in, that, in, that, in that class. It's a three unit class. You can actually take it multiple times. Um, and then also, you don't even have to be out in the industry working. You can actually do those hours in our cafeteria and stuff like that. So, so you're actually learning uh, doing that, but you also can track the hours um, by working out in the industry. Uh, we also have um, job placement services. Like for example, even, even my Facebook page has, we have our culinary job board and stuff. So we're actually even working with graduates who are looking for work, you know, and stuff like that. So it's really cool. We also have the federal student worker program. So we have uh, a, about uh, about eight or 10. We're going to have about eight or 10. We actually currently have four, even in the pandemic, but we're going to have about eight or 10 full-time. Well, the, yeah, they have to be full-time students, but then they can work uh, 20 hours a week and be paid like 20 bucks an hour, 18 bucks an hour or whatever to work with us in the kitchen. So they're like instructional assistants. So there's opportunities that way as well. So it's really cool. Yeah. And then in order to answer your question, of course, maybe they can be hired as a prep cook, but as soon as they see the, their skills, they will be immediately moved in, you know, as a line cook. Because um, so <clears throat> the difference that we have compared to other schools is that you actually, you learn how to cook and you will be, you know, in the line, in front of the line every day, especially when you're taking the second semester classes that you have to cook for our cafeteria. So, and, you know, there are, uh, so think about all the campus that is coming, you know, eat our, eat lunch or, you know, taking sandwiches, et cetera. So you have to deal with timing and, and pressure, of course, a lot, especially with the breakfast class. So, and that is, you know, of course it will be hard at the beginning, but that will be the real world. And if you are already prepared, you know, from the school, so that is just, you know, better. So are the second year students cooking for the student, the, the campus cafeteria, or do you go right in in the first year and start? Well, well, immediate, well you start the first year, actually, when you're taking Garmanger 1, uh, for example, with Chef Gillingham. You are not in the direct contact with, you know, the customers, let's say, because what you do, you know, he does a lot of sandwiches, cookies, um, then sushi, things like that. So uh, then, of course, fruit salads and uh, appetite salads, like regular, you know, with lettuce and so on, different type of salads. But uh, you will be in direct contact. Of course, you can be in contact with customer, but that is the front of the house class where you will learn how to, you know, not just how to serve, but at the same time also, you know, that the part of dealing with, you know, especially angry customers, maybe sometimes, or like eclectic people. You know. So six thirty, I wake up to this. <laughs> <laughs> it's not not all classes are six thirty. Uh, like with mine, you can start later with if you take mine first. You know, you can start at eight. And eight the o'clock. Okay. Yeah, you can take you can take it after class too. <laughs> But if you have to, you know, if you have to cook breakfast, think about it. You know, you have to be at work by eight thirty in the morning or eight. So. <laughs> You need to start working. I'm already up in jet. There you go. Okay, perfect. All right. Okay, so um, well, you know Can what? You we are Zoom link too, or should I? What? Sorry. Your Zoom link. So I had a. a let me look at chat oh. here. Okay, so what, what do you mean? Uh, so uh, there was no other questions in chat. So okay. Adrian, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and and uh, and share that link with you for the. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So thank you. 
it takes so to, do the, to do the transcribing and everything, it'll take about a half an hour, 45 minutes, and then I'll email it to your email inbox. And then you can share that. If you share that, that would be awesome. Yeah, so, I mean, I think. Our YouTube channel and our Facebook page. Oh, that was one thing I wanted to show you, right? I wanted to show you how you get to our Instagram. So if you go to, I'm going to share my screen real quick. And you go to latc.edu right there. And you go to culinary arts and right here is the three uh the you got our our uh we have our uh youtube channel we have our instagram and we have our facebook page so let's go to instagram real quick so this is our instagram we were actually working on pizza last week we we're actually working on cookies um we have we have a lot we have enrollment workshops every every day uh we have some important dates to remember for the class we actually were working on our look at this one we were working on our herb garden chef Passim was there we were working on our herb garden whoops wait what happened to the herb garden so yes see. so we planted a lot of things from aromatic herbs you know tomatoes eggplants chilies peppers and then also we have zucchinis lettuce and the reason why we're doing that is because we have the last class of you know our um course of study that is you know the 141 where you learn actually how to uh cook and plate you know the food like a real restaurant and our idea is actually you know using our own vegetables and herbs from our garden to serve those of course not to the regular cafeteria but to our um our restaurant that we have inside yeah. you know of our building this is one of my students made this in one of her in, in the class she uh this is actually made out of salt. It's a salt dough project. So this is a hamburger 